Brooklyn's finest. The one lucky best for the Italian pit bull. Tony, two belts, baby. Tony Blue's blesses, proving grounds. What is it? The Italian Labradoodle? Proving grounds debut? You might as well consider yourself all in one. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Warriors of Wrestling. Proving Grounds making his way to the ring here. The tracksuit brute, Chris Benet. This man here making his Proving Grounds debut, but he is no stranger to Warriors of Wrestling. He has been around the block quite a few times as he... Did he just slip something into the referee's pocket there? Uh, I'm not too sure, but... I mean, we're going to have to look into that. We're going to have to investigate. But here comes his opponent. He is fired up here. Making his Proving Ground Season 3 debut. Tony Booz. One half of the Warriors of Wrestling Tag Team Champions with Jalen. Those two don't get along, but let's see how he fares in singles competition here against Chris Benet. Remember, he may have slipped the referee a few dollars there. And now referee checking. I mean, he does have that, that Adidas zip up on. I mean, he could be hiding anything in there. Saying that he's all good. And Tony is just laying there on the ropes and... Benet taking off the tracksuit. Nothing is hidden under that. Here we go. Matchup is underway. Throws the jacket to the crowd. Tony here loosening up those limbs. Stretching out. Benet. These two eyeing each other up here. Measuring each other up. Before we start, here we go. Locking up two bulls. Locking horns. And Benet with the power advantage, the size advantage, puts him in the corner, but Tony able to duck under what went for, Benet went for a chop there. Benet saying it'll happen. Let's see if that comes true as these two once again measuring each other up. Wraps around and sent back into the corner there. Oh, and back elbow had him trapped in. Utilized his body there to trap Tony in, but Tony able to move out of the way. Oh, and a sh quick strike straight to the chin of Benet. And able to slide under. Tony rolls him up. One, two. And what a sequence that was from Tony showing that flair of offense. And he's right. It could have been over just like that. It could have been. Benet. Kind of reevaluating the situation here. Remember, he paid the referee, or I mean, I'm I may be making an assumption here. Maybe he was fixing his his pants or something. I have no idea. As now he kicks him straight in the gut and takes the headlock. Tony sends him off the ropes. The power of Tony to move a man that size and look at that shoulder tackle puts him down. Benet able to duck under the clothesline. Wait a minute, sends oh but leapfrog from Benet and now a headlock from Tony. These two going hold for hold here. Some maneuvers going on. Leapfrog. Oh, and look at that! Back suplex from Chris Benet. The fun and games are over. That did some some real damage here. And now let's see if it comes true. And yes, he got it. He promised that earlier in the matchup. Moves him now to the turnbuckle. Benet whips off Tony Booz. Up and over by him. Hits the ropes. Drop down from Benet. Benet again for, went for the leap. Oh boy, but that was a, the atomic drop there. And Tony now mocking him. And Benet perhaps calling for a timeout here. Ducks the clothesline into a cover one. Into another cover here. One innovative offense from Tony Booz. As he goes for the... Going for a backslide here. Is he going to be able to take down Benet? But Benet able to stay up. Kick to the gut. Sends him to the outside here. Here comes Benet. 
And Tony. Oh, drop down there. Scissor kick there from Chris Benet. And now Tony is feeling the damage inflicted. Now Benet choking him out here. The fun and games are over. How many Italians in this damn company? It's got to stop. And Benet here. Some remarks. As Tony now trying to fight back a bit, trying to deliver a few strikes, but he gets put down by a forearm at the hands of Chris Benet. Labradoodle. Benet <laughs> mocking Tony here. And now picks him up in a side slam position. Oh, drops him down with a side slam. That could be the end of the match here. What impact. And referees count one, two. Oh, wait a minute. One, two. Just one there. My mistake. But wait a minute. Oh, he gets floored by a gigantic clothesline there. And you saw the Tony with an innovative counter there to to roll up Benet. He had a pin there. It was almost like a, a cocky pin. As now he's settled into a chin lock here. He says no. He said he tapped out. No. He said he tapped out. Applying pressure to Tony here, wearing him down. The longer that this hold stays on, I gotta say, the, the more this matchup favors Chris Benet. Don't you dare, Jack. This is Jack. And you see that one arm there, he let go, but wait a minute, redirecting his grip. And it's a there it is from Tony, a triple series of jaw jackers there. And now Tony off the ropes now, big sunset. And went for a strike, but Benet punched the floor. And you see that did some damage. Oh, he kicked him straight in the arm. Kicked him straight in the face there. What a sequence here from Tony trying to get back into this matchup. Benet charges at him. Boom, back elbow. Tony now perhaps looking to get up to the middle rope there. Went for a oh, big arm drag there. And here comes... Oh, shoot. He just got freaking obliterated. One, two, I can't, I can't believe he was able to kick out of that, that spear, he might have a broken rib after that, out of nowhere, Benet, going at him full force, full speed, and he's foaming at the mouth, I mean, we might be looking at internal damage, organ failure after, after a move like that, and he's foaming at the mouth, I mean, this is not a good scene, the referee might have to stop this one. You can hear the struggling to get the wind. And now stomping. Just crushing his skull. With that boot. Benet now. Looking to measure him up. And look at this. Maneuver. Oh wait. Tony backs him up into the corner. I don't know how Tony's still in this one. Where is he finding this? Oh, he gets sent right into the corner. Benet not going to fall for the same thing twice. And you see the pain that he is in. Back elbow yet again connects. Tony connects with a double boot there. Up to the middle rope yet again. Tony now. Kick to the face. From the top. Oh, it was a blockbuster. Blockbuster from Tony! Never seen him do that before! One, but he's busting it all out here on proving grounds! Benet is down! This is what it takes to put Four, down the tracksuit brute! Five, Tony six, trying to find himself back into this matchup, but he is in all types of pain here. And here comes. Benet, boom! Tony able to duck, block, strikes and chops, able to duck, boom! Here comes Tony firing up here on Chris Benet! Oh, a strike there from Benet, puts him down, we've been off the ropes, boom, headbutt! Ducks the line there, going for a suplex, is he going to be able to take him over? Off the ropes he goes, Tony 
Full speed ahead off the ropes. Rebound. Close on. Takes him out. Tony is firing up here on Proving Grounds. He wants to get a win. His first win here on Proving Grounds. He wants to put down the tracksuit brute. Is he going to be able to do it? Looking to pick him up. Benet. Went for a maneuver there. Kick to the gut. And look at this. Boom. Spikes him down. Innovative offense by Tony. But that didn't fully put down Benet. Is he going to be able to take him out here off the ropes? Here comes Tony. Cross body. He rolls through. Wait a minute. What is that? One, two, three out of nowhere. Chris Benet steals it. I don't know if the referee saw it. But his feet were on the ropes there. Benet had both feet. On the ropes, and that's why he has no comment because he stole this match. Maybe that's those few dollars that he slipped the referee earlier coming back to pay dividends. We'll catch you next time here on Proving Grounds.